How to use the Desmos online graphing calculator in the classroom. Desmos is a free online graphing calculator that can quickly and easily plot graphs for many algebraic expressions. The calculator features an interactive environment, which is both user-friendly and efficient at displaying information on the screen. Compared to other graphing calculators, Desmos utilizes sleek color design and is packed with many features that make it an ideal piece of technology to integrate into the classroom. Here is a short guide to Desmos and some of its features. In order to use Desmos, open an internet browser of your choice. Currently, Desmos fully supports Chrome, Firefox, Safari, and Internet Explorer 9. For this video, Firefox will be used. Once your browser loads, you may either use a search engine and type in Desmos, or you can enter the URL www.desmos.com. Once you are on the main page, click on the button that says Launch Calculator. You will then be redirected to the Desmos main page. To start using Desmos, simply click in the Expressions box on the left and start typing in equations on the keyboard. Desmos responds to variables in terms of x and y by default. You can type in equations such as y equals x, y equals x plus 1, x equals 3, and y equals 3x minus 4. As you type, the graph will automatically be drawn in the window on the right. You can use the mouse to pan and zoom the graph. To pan, hold down the left mouse button while you move your mouse. To zoom, use the mouse's scroll wheel to enlarge the window or scale everything smaller. You may also select the settings icon and manually set the window's dimensions there. Desmos supports a large variety of equations, including equations in terms of y, in terms of x, quadratic equations, exponential equations, implicit equations, parametric equations, polar coordinates, inequalities, piecewise functions with restricted domains, points, point lists, and movable points. In addition, there are many supported mathematical functions, such as exponential and logarithmic functions, regular and hyperbolic trigonometric functions, a large list of statistics and probability functions, some calculus functions, and the option to define your own functions. A complete list of available options can be obtained by reading the user's guide, found at the bottom of the homepage for Desmos. Additionally, there is an on-screen keyboard in the bottom left corner of the screen that when clicked will display an entire list of all of the possible functions that Desmos supports. Once you become familiar with the program, it is easy to type in complex equations fast and efficiently. Desmos features standard keyboard shortcuts used in other math software, such as the caret key. Suppose that you wish to type in the equation y equals x squared quickly. All that you need to do is type in y equals x, then hold down the shift button while you hit the 6 key. The caret symbol above the 6 represents to the power of in math notation. Desmos will recognize this symbol and immediately replace the symbol with a superscript version of whatever you type in next. Simply type in 2 and you've quickly graphed y equals x to the second power. Desmos also recognizes the names of common functions and Greek letters, such as pi, theta, square root, and the trigonometric functions. If you want to type in the sine of pi times theta quickly, just type in sin with an opening parentheses, then type in pi for pi and theta for theta and close the parentheses. Desmos will recognize each of these terms and replace each of them with the appropriate symbols. Perhaps the most unique feature of Desmos is the sliders utility. If you want to provide constants in an equation whose values will change in each given situation, Desmos will allow you to make sliders for those constants. Take, for example, slope-intercept form, y equals mx plus b. You can type in the equation, and Desmos will recognize that there are too many variables to graph the line. It'll ask if you want to add sliders for some of the constants, and you can select which ones you wish to use. 
When you add a slider, the corresponding variable will appear below the main expression, and you can move the slider to change its value. The benefit of sliders is that students can instantly see what happens to the line when the values of these constants change. This can greatly remove some of the abstract concepts involved with graphing equations, and your students will be able to grasp graphing like never before. In addition to all of these features, Desmos allows you to save your graph on your Google account so you can return to the graph later. To save the graph, simply log into your Google account and then click on the name of the graph in the top left corner, named Untitled Graph by default. You may then save the graph, which will be available the next time you log in and use Desmos. This was a very brief overview of the free online graphing calculator Desmos. The easiest way to learn the program is to use it. If you want further instructions, refer to the Desmos user guide, which can be found on the homepage of desmos.com. Play around with the calculator. Let your students use it. Incorporate Desmos into the classroom.